How to stop overthinking? Let's just ask the other question. Why do we overthink in the first place? And I believe, and also because of my experience as a healer and health professional, I have found that when we are exposed to excessive stimulation, for example, through electronic devices, through uh, newspapers, through TV, whatever we do, we are constantly bombarded and actually stimulated and being challenged to process information. And when this information process is basically overflowing, our brain um, is like a cup that is starting to overflow. We can't process any information. That's when we start to go around in circles and that's when we start to have repetitive thought patterns. So number one is to create some space in your mind to digest, transform and transmute those sensory experiences that we expose ourselves to. Meditation, of course, is a very important aspect. Breath work is a very important aspect. And in my book, The Spiritual Health Matrix, I describe a technique that I use, which is called the OBC technique, where we actually get into a space where we observe our thought patterns and then use a certain breath work, a certain breath technique to actually calm down um, our breathing. And as we calm down our breathing, we actually create a space in our central nervous system for relaxation. So for example, overstimulation is a typical indication of excess sympathetic activity, which leads to um, cortisol um, production, excess of cortisol production, as we know, prevents us from actually going into a state of relaxation. So breathing, for example, breathe in for four, hold your breath for two counts and breathe out for six counts will automatically shift from sympathetic mode into parasympathetic mode, from fight and flight into rest and digest. And by that, you actually create some space in your mind, in your brain, for information to be processed again. And I'm linking it back again to the more subtler aspects. It is important to clear any dense energies in your energetic field. And those dense energies could also be, for example, linked to any trauma in your life, any accidents in your life where your body has gone into a shock situation. And shock means constriction. It doesn't allow the flow. So by creating a flow, you will be able to, um, or that could be one way of getting rid of excessive thought patterns, trying to look at it from a bird's eye perspective, rather than being caught in the drama of our patterns.